How to become rich by 40, 35 if you're extra bright, much sooner if you find an opportunity like I did. Let me show you how I did it. Financial independence. I like the phrase financial independence. Some people are a little bit concerned about using the word becoming rich or becoming wealthy. And I can understand that. I struggled a little bit with this. Is it okay to go for becoming rich, go for becoming wealthy? And maybe that's a bit too strong a word or strong a term. So here's what I've come up with that I think is comfortable for me. And that is how to become financially independent. I think it's every person's heritage here, especially in America, uh, to become financially independent. Now, let me give you my definition of financial independence. Financial independence is the ability to live from the income of your own personal resources. Financial independence. Now it depends on how you want to live. If you need two, three thousand dollars a month, if you need four or five thousand a month, if you need ten thousand a month, some people may need, you know, a hundred thousand a month. But whatever you would need to live, and you could earn that living from the income of your own personal resources, that's what I call financial freedom, financial independence. And let me show you how to acquire. If you start at age 15, between ages 15 and 35 is 20 years. And in my personal opinion, based on my own studies and my own experience, 20 years, in my opinion, is enough time to become financially independent. If you're not, you don't live in the wrong country. Probably what's happened is you have the wrong plan. And it's easy to be a nice person with the wrong plan. I found that when I was 25 years old. I was broke at age 25, and I was a nice guy. You would have liked me. But I'm telling you, my plans up until then, especially my financial plan, left me broke. Totally changed it the next six years, and I became financially independent. So I know what I'm talking about. It is possible in a reasonable amount of time, 15 to 35, whatever, 20 years time, enough time. You can do it in a much shorter period of time, like I did if you want to. But this is a reasonable enough time. But here's number one. First of all, you gotta have the right philosophy. Philosophy is our ability to gather knowledge and sort through it and decide what's valuable. To develop a philosophy about life, a philosophy about our health, a philosophy about our family relationships, a philosophy about economics. And if you develop the right philosophy, that's what helps to set this sail. So that in six years, it takes you where you want to go instead of winding up like I did that first six years of my economics, broke, no money, empty bank account. The right philosophy. Now, let me give you a couple of philosophies to consider. Here's the first one. It's called the philosophy of the poor. And here it is. Poor people usually spend their money and invest what's left. That's the philosophy of the poor. Now, here's the philosophy of the rich. Rich people invest their money and spend money. And here's the startling answer. It really doesn't matter what the amount is. What's most important is not the amount. What's really important is the philosophy. So I would ask you to adopt this philosophy of spending after you have invested. Invest first, then spend. And I've got a little formula that I'm going to share with you. Now, what should a child do with a dog? I mean, there's a lot of debate going on, I'm sure, across the country on what a child should do with a dollar. Here's one opinion. It's only a child and it's only a dollar. The difference is a thing. Well, in my opinion, it makes all the difference in the world. A person's economic future starts with a child with a dollar. Somebody says, oh, no, you're only young once. Let him spend the dollar. Well, when would you hope that would stop? Somebody says, well, wait till he's 50 and broke like me and, you know, and then he'll learn. Well, no, we don't want to wait that long. If I would have known earlier than age 25, I would have changed. In high school, if I, if they would have had classes called Wealth One, Wealth Two, I'd have taken both classes. I would not have waited until age 25. So the earlier, the better. So what should a child do with a dollar? Here's the simple premise to begin with. Don't spend it all. And if a child wants to spend the whole dollar, you got to say, hey, don't spend it all. You know, don't spend it all. They'll say, why not? It's my dollar. I earned it. You say, I know you earned it, but don't spend it all. 
they'll still say, why not? Say, let me show you why not. So you put them in your car, take them to the other side of town, and show them where people live that spend the whole dollar. Just drive them around. Kids learn best by visual. Just drive around and say, would you like to live here? Kid says, no. Would you like to live like these people do? Kid says, no, no. Then you can't spend the whole dollar. So kids will get the message. So, you know, take them to the other side of town, show them around, unless you already live there, and then just show them around. Anyway, don't spend the whole dollar.